Uh, well, speaking of Jack, um, you know, obviously I'm sure in during the course of that show that there was, you know, a lot of research that you did with that, w with your character um, on that show. Um, is there anything specifically from, uh, out of that 10-year span that you've taken away from that show, um, from, you know, all the experiences that you had? I know, know it's... I took a lot away from that show. You know, when I started the show, I had really no idea what life in the military was like. All I knew was from some of the Hollywood films I'd seen. Uh, and a lot of that was uh, the military was misrepresented, uh, you know, so much of the, certainly the day-to-day -day life. It was one of the things that the Navy was uh, tenuous at best in the beginning about cooperating with us on JAG was because they felt maligned, for lack of a, a better word, uh, by the, their treatment in, uh, in film and, and television. And, um, and you know, we, we felt that part of, uh, you know, certainly our main objective was to entertain, but we also wanted to be as true to, you know, to form as possible, as true and, and real for, for uh, our uh, members in the audience who had been or were in uh, the military. So, uh, that said, you know, uh, I guess, you know, let me tell you one of the, uh, you know, a thing that, that I carry with me all the time when I was, when I was doing the research, I read the Blue Coat Manual and I read the Officer's Training Manual. And, mm. and uh, I, I don't know why this stuck on my mind, but it, but it did, <laughs> and I've taken it into my life. It said, it's not enough to present a problem, but you also have to present at least an idea of how to solve that problem or you become part of that problem. I remember that was in the officer's training manual okay. and I've always taken that with me, you know, so uh, and that's something that I challenge our filmmakers with, you know, it's easy to point out where the problems are gives on a scapegoat yeah, it really find, gives an idea what the solutions may be, you know. Okay. Alright, cool. Uh, well, you know, you've, you've been on GCB, you've been on, you know, a lot of, you know, uh, series um, uh, lately. Uh, what, what what's the next project that you're you know working on currently? Um, are you you know working behind the camera um, as producer or director, or are you um, are you going to you know be back in front of the camera? Well, I hope to do all of that. You know, I'm writing uh, I'm writing right now. I'm working on uh, on um, on a documentary about the inner city in Los Angeles. My wife uh, works with Pete Carroll on uh, on uh, found on his foundation, okay, um, a better LA, and uh, we're working on a documentary for that at the moment uh, about uh, inner city violence, gang violence, and and uh, how to how to fix that picture, gang intervention, and uh, creating safe zones for kids to travel through troubled areas so they can make it back and forth to school because they you know they discovered that children in Los Angeles in Watts and, and those troubled areas in the inner city had higher rates of PTSD than children wow. living in Baghdad wow. because they spent you know they had to cross active gang zones you don't have to go from red to blue areas to go to school or you know and they they were just they spent all day sitting in a classroom concerned not with what they were learning, but how they were going to get home wow. safe. Okay. I mean, so, so it's that. It's about, you know, I'm really concentrating on, uh, on giving back. I, I'm concentrating on my career, certainly, and I, you know, and I love to work. But I'm also looking for ways that I can uh, be part of a solution to help make things better. And uh, that's All another right. reason why uh, I was, uh, you know, uh, thrilled to be a part of GIF, because I think GIF is, uh, is an organization that is, uh, is like-minded, you know. Let's make it a better place. Let's fix the stuff that's broken. Let's make it a better world. All right, awesome. Well, there you have it, Real Filmers. Till next time.